family, long time no see. I am so excited to be back today with a makeup tutorial with something that I think is really beautiful, really special, but also really easy to do. A lot of the products that you're gonna see in this video are from Tarte Cosmetics and every single one of the Tarte Cosmetics products you're gonna see in this video was sent to me. This video is not sponsored at all, but I just wanted to let you know that they did send them to me, which is honestly so generous because as you guys know, my following is, you know, pretty small here. It's it's substantial enough apparently, but it's not very big in the grand scheme of makeup YouTubers and Instagrammers out there. So um, I'm very, very, very grateful to Tarte for sending me these beautiful products because you know, Tarte is a more luxury brand and it's something that typically I would have to save up for and budget for to be able to buy these products that they sent me. So I feel very fortunate and very lucky and I wanted to put them to the test on camera for you. Now some of these things I have been using diligently since they sent it to me, but the other ones I haven't gotten to play around with too much. So you're gonna see a variety of different types of reviews in this video, but um, it's kind of gonna be a combination between review and tutorial. So if you want to see how to get this blue and bronze smoky eye, keep on watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all of the above, all of which are super helpful to me. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's go. Okay, so I'm clearly not trying to impress anyone with my hair right now, so let's just pretend it's not happening. So you can probably tell that I already have my face makeup done. I have used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and then also the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer under my eyes. So that's what I've done so far and I've set everything also using my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. So I think I'm gonna start with the brows and I'm gonna use my NYX Tame In Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I am in the shade Brunette. Looks like this. When it dries out a little bit, I just use a little bit of a beauty oil to revive it and it works beautifully. So first, of course, I'm just going to sort of brush them up into place, the general area where I want them. And um, I was trimming my brows today and I like cut the tail off the end of my brow. So we're gonna try and fix that with some makeup. So I'm using a Zoeva 317 wing liner brush. I like using this brush because it's very precise and detailed and it allows me to, you know, make my brows look as natural as I can. So first what I'm doing is just generally coating the brow hairs with the product and then I'm going to brush it through. Then I'm just going to see where some areas are more sparse and I'm going to focus on those places. Okay, now you can see one brow compared to the other. It still looks pretty natural, just a lot more full, and it frames my face a lot better. Okay, so the brows are done. I'm going to move on to contour now. For that, I'm going to use this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Paradise Cove. I've tried a bunch of different ways to apply this so far, and my favorite way is using a stippling brush. This is also from Zoeva. It's a 122 Petite Stippling Brush. So I just swirl it around in the product, get a nice healthy coating on it. I work it into the back of my hand a little bit just to make sure it's nice and even and there's not too much on there. And then I'm just gonna go in like I would with any other contour starting underneath the cheekbones. Now this definitely does have a slightly warm undertone and it also has a little bit of a, I wouldn't even call it a shimmer, it's just a slight reflect that it has. Honestly, I think that's a good thing. I think it makes it look a little bit more natural. When I get to the front of my cheek, I'm really trying to wrap it around the apple of my cheek a little bit, just so it sort of lifts them up a little bit more rather than just making them look, you know, sallow. I also always go along the jawline here. I find that here less is more just because if you put too much, it looks like you didn't blend your foundation very well. So just put a little bit just to add a little bit more definition. Then I'm very gently gonna go along the sides of my nose. So I really haven't gotten to play around with this too much yet, so I'm really excited to put it more to the test in this video. This is the new limited edition Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette, and this is volume two. You get a really nice size mirror in here, and I really appreciate that. My first impressions of it, though, is that the shadows can be a little bit difficult to pick up with a fluffy brush, um, just because they're really, really, like, almost a creamy powder, which is a great thing, and they blend very nicely from my experience with it so far, but actually putting the product on my brush, that's where I've struggled a little bit more. So first I'm going all over the lid with the shade 
conch. I hope that's how you say it. I have no idea what that means. I looked it up because it kind of sounds like a dirty word or something. So it says conch is a common name that is applied to a number of different medium to large size sea snails for their shells. So I feel much better now. <laughs> I have already primed my eyes with some Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, which is honestly knocking me off my feet. It's so good. Next, I'm going into the shade Marina, which is just sort of a brown toned shadow. And I am going to place this mostly on the outer V of my eye. I wanna try and create an elongated shape to my eye today. You can see how beautifully this is like applying. Oh my goodness. It's stunning, and I'm hardly even touching my brush to my lid. I'm just very, very, very lightly touching it. So you can see here, I'm extending it out past my normal eye space, like a little bit more towards my brow. And I'm also gonna work it here in the inner corner. And same thing over here. So I've been watching a lot of Nikki tutorials lately, and she is the makeup goddess, we all know that. And um, she has hooded eyes too. I think hers are maybe a little bit more hooded than mine, but she really emphasizes how, how important it is to bring your shadows up, because if you have hooded eyes, they, you know, when you open your eyes, it gets hidden. The shadow that you worked so hard on just sort of disappears. So it's important to sort of blend your shadows up, and I totally agree with her. So I just wanted to reiterate that with you guys. Now I'm going into the slightly more purpley brown color, and it is the shade Seaside. Now I am just going to focus this on the outer V portion of my eye. I'm not bringing this all the way in. And then I'm just going to blend it out using the brush I used before to put down that other brown toned shadow. Next I'm going into this blue shade which I've actually never used before. This is the shade Riptide. I'm going to be using a 234 Lux Smoky Shader Brush also from Zoeva. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. So I'm going to start low. Oh god, there's fallout. Oh god. Ignore the speck of blue on my lid. I'm just going to put a little bit of, actually a lot, a bit of powder underneath my eyes. This is my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder um, because I think this has some fallout on it and I hadn't prepped under my eyes yet, so I just want to make sure that stays nice and clean. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to start low on the lid. It's very rich and the payoff is amazing, as you can see here. Make sure you bring it all the way into that inner corner here. So I'm sort of just creating like a half moon shape, just following where my natural crease line is and going above it just, you know, a millimeter or two. And I'm really glad that I put this bake down because you can, I don't know, can you see the fallout? Because I, I definitely can, and it's really important to avoid those things if you do your face makeup first, which I did. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for a second and go on to this eye. Okay, this color is so gorgeous and it's unlike anything I have. I'm super duper impressed, except for the fallout. Oh my God, it's so pretty. But you cannot forget to blend, don't get too excited. You still have to blend it out. So I'm gonna use this more tapered brush that we used before on the outer part of the eye. And I'm just going to focus it directly on the line between the shadows. And then again with my fluffy brush, doing the same thing. I'm gonna wipe off my bake now. It's making me a little bit nervous just leaving this blue under my eyes for so long, but Everything is okay, it looks perfect. So I'm actually going to do a fun colored liner today and I think it'll be perfect because it's just gonna sort of brighten up this really deep smoky look. So Tarte sent me this cute little like, it's like an ornament, it's it's so adorable. It has a an eyeliner brush and it has two different liners in here. The black one is just called black and the one that I'm gonna be using today is called bronze and that's exactly what this looks like. It's so pretty, it has a sparkle to it, but I've actually never put this on my eyes, so let's try it out. So this is what the packaging actually looks like. You squeeze the product out in the top right here and then you can just use your brush to dip in there and use it that way. I'm actually not going to use the liner brush that they sent me just because I don't feel confident with it. I have never used it before and it's a totally different shape and I don't want to screw up my makeup so I will try it later off camera when it's not going to be so important. But I'm just going to use a Sigma winged liner brush and let's give this a shot. 
Okay, so I definitely have some comments about this liner. Yes, I think it's beautiful the way that it turned out. However, that took me way longer than it normally takes me to do my liner. Was it worth it? Yes, because I love how it turned out, but it's just not, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's just not as thick as I would like a gel liner to be. I feel like it was kind of transparent in a lot of places and I had to go over it maybe like three times. So that kind of, you know, not so great. However, the color is beautiful and I think it's still a cute little set. Um, I think if it's long lasting, then it's definitely worth it for sure. But I don't know that yet since this is the first time that I'm trying it out. Apparently I forgot to press the film button, but I'm putting this on my inner waterline just to see how well it works. And actually I'm really impressed. Way better than I thought it would perform, especially with how difficult it was on the lid. Let's see if I can get you closer here. This is the scary part. I don't like putting like a brush up here, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Makeup is dangerous sometimes. For the lower lash line, I'm going into the shade Marina again with a Zoeva pencil brush. I'm bringing this all the way in to the inner corners because I actually, um, I don't know if it's just my eyes or if a lot of people experience this too, but whenever I work with dark shadows, it doesn't matter from the highest end to the lowest end, it doesn't matter. It always sort of transfers right here and also on the very inner corner of my eye. So I'm just going to lay this color down here just to sort of neutralize that a little bit and make it look like I don't have black eyes. Then I'm going back into Seaside right here and working that mostly on the outer half. Then I'm actually going to go into the shade Seaside, which is a really beautiful, it's almost like a rose gold color. It's more on the gold side, but it does have almost a pinky peach undertone to it. I am going to focus this just on the inner part of my eye. Gosh, it's really hard to keep the shadow out of my contacts. It's a little bit more, not, it's not dusty, but there are little flecks that, you know, are flying into my eyes, so be warned. So the eyes are just about done, so I'm going to pop on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and this is the waterproof version. I've never tried the original one, but this one has got me really impressed. Okay, there's one coat of the mascara. I think I'm going in for a second. So I was planning on wearing false lashes, but I just don't think I need them. Plus, I'm super lazy and I don't like wearing them, so ex nay on the lashes. For the blush, I'm going to do a combination of things. I'm going to use a blush from Tarte. This is in the shade Seduce. And then also the famous Luminoso from Milani. I really want my cheeks to have a radiant finish, so that's why I'm going to top it off with Luminoso. I'm using a Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. Going into the shade Seduce, is that what you are? Yes. And putting this first on the apples of the cheek, lightly, lightly. I tend to overdo it with the blush sometimes. And then brushing back into the hairline. Then into Luminoso. I'm putting this over my entire cheek, just brushing it back. Okay, this is the part that I am most excited about and the product that I have just been obsessed with the moment I got it. Um, this is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Lighting Palette. It has a nice mirror in here. Mine's all dusty um, and fingerprinty, but like I always say, that's because I use it so much. Um, it has four beautiful highlighting shades, and it smells like cookies. I'm gonna swatch them for you right now on my hand. First is the deepest shade. This is Candlelight. It's very bronzy, but it has a rose gold undertone to it. It's a little bit dark, however, I'm very fair. You guys have seen a lot of my videos. I'm pretty pale, um, and I can absolutely get away with this using this as a highlight. So I think a number of people can definitely do that. It will be too dark for some people, but you can use it on your eyes. You could use it for something else. Um, that's the first shade. Next is the shade Spotlight, and it has a very beautiful gold sheen to it. It just catches light beautifully, and it's it's not too stark. This one right here is the shade Skylight, and it is going to be perfect for those fair-toned girls out there. This is such a beautiful color. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. It's just gorgeous, and you need the palette. There's one more color. 
And last is the shade Daylight right here. And this one might be my favorite. It's a good mix between these two right here. That's another thing is that I love mixing these colors together, doing a whole bunch of different things, and that's how I've been using it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna mix Spotlight and Daylight together. I think, I think that's gonna let me get to where I'm going. And get ready for it. Ah! smells so good. That, you know, is reason enough to pick up this dang palette. It's just it's everything. I also like to bring this up above my temple and eyebrow area, just putting it all over the entire face, basically. It's very, very highly reflective, as you can see. I'm also going to put some of that combination on the tip of my nose. Blend it out up to the bridge. And of course the cupid's bow. I'm also putting this right underneath my eyebrow. For the lips, I'm gonna do something pretty neutral because there's clearly a lot of makeup happening right now. I'm gonna go in with my trusty, dusty, iconic nude lip pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their lip cheat pencil. Okay, now that the lips are lined and I clearly look like a weirdo, as per usual, I'm gonna use my Tarte Tardis lip paint in the shade Basti. This is such a pretty brownie nude color. Ah, I love it. All right, guys, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really am thoroughly impressed with all of these products. Some of them you have to work with a little bit more, but the end result is still beautiful and there is definitely value in that. So I think a lot of these products, if not all of them, are worth giving a go. And um, also let me know how you like the makeup look down below. That would mean so much to me if you would give me your feedback. Wherever you are, I'm sending you good vibes this holiday season. Thank you again for watching and I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye. This is the new limited edition Tarte Reinforce of the Sea. Ugh! <sighs>